So guys, tell us about Go On. What's it about? Go On is a show about a guy, Ryan King, who looks a lot like him, uh -huh. uh, who uh, who's uh, suffered a setback. He lost his wife, and he uh, is assigned to a therapy thing, the last thing in the world he wants to do. Uh, joins a group and ends up becoming sort of the instigator, bad student class clown in a support group for loss. Matthew, did you know of anyone who had been through something like this who would have to be, who would have to go through grief counseling or had any experience with anything like that? Uh, I, d I didn't, I didn't really do, I, I, I really felt like I didn't need to do a whole lot of research mm -hmm. for this other than my entire 20s and 30s <laughs> of talking in groups of people that are in a circle. <laughs> so I didn't have to do a whole lot of uh, research. And we, we spoke to Lisa Kudra recently about web therapy and she was talking about getting her past co-stars on the show. Would you ever be interested in? I, I would definitely do that. Yeah. It's hilarious. That's a really funny show and, a, and an interesting way to uh, have us do something together. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys still all speak and talk about the projects that you're actually, on? They're uh, actually... They're all there? Yeah, they're outside. Behind the curtain. <laughs> no, no, not behind the curtain because that would be silly. <laughs> they're, uh, no, they're outside the door. Just, just waiting. Yeah, they just hope Such the interview went well. <laughs> Such a supportive group. So we're talking family. When is the baby due any day now? Couple months, yeah. Oh, couple yeah, months. Yeah, we're getting close. So are you, are you ready? I don't think you're ever, you know, truly ready, especially with your first one. You, you know, you, you prepare as much as you can and get advice from, you know, knowledgeable parents like Layla. I was going to say, Layla must yeah. have had great advice for you as the kids. You know, he has that answer all together, but he still is not ready. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he knows that he's not ready, uh, but he's, yeah. he's even more not ready than he thinks he's not ready. <laughs> Yes, I believe that. You, Nick, that she says no, that. I, I believe that. I know that you know. You just go in. I think you have to you just go in knowing that you want this, and right. we both do, obviously. So whatever gets thrown our way, you know, we're we're it's a challenge we're excited to face. He can handle it. Anyway. Are you ready to change diapers? I'm not, that doesn't scare me at all. That doesn't scare me. That that, that wipes right off. That cleans off. You know? <laughs> and then a reunion, a big announcement today. Yeah, yeah, we're uh, getting together, 98 Degrees again, to, to uh, kind of do a reunion show and, and see how that goes. And we've already started rehearsing for that, so it feels it feels good. It feels like, uh, you know, no time has passed. We're a little slower. There's a little more Ben Gay on, uh, on, on, on call than there used to be back in the day, but we're, uh, you know, we're enjoying it. Now, did you guys have any experience, any interest in firefighters, firefighting at all before this role came about? I had, a few years ago, had, was a, a, a part of a show and we, it was an ensemble cast and a lot much more to do with paramedics but I got on really well with the firefighters. How has your body physique changed a little bit or has it you know because you, it's not just acting but you're you know it's part of your role. I thought I'd gain weight moving to Chicago the land of pizza <laughs> but, <laughs> but we do we'd like we just I mean you put that gear on it weighs about 60 pounds or something like something like that with the oxygen the the tank the you know your tool your your axe or your halligan bar or whatever and you know and all the you know the bunker gear and i mean it's a lot of weight and you run around in the stuff you know and and you just try to imagine <laughs> how how on earth <laughs> they get anything done is is really it it's kind of you know you you can't help but admire them because you know we wear the stuff for 12 hours and we just sweat through yeah, it's like 95 degrees and you're wearing stuff that gets your body temperature up to some ungodly temperature finally uh revolution came up uh, it was a script that that he uh that eric kripke wrote and he developed with jj and it sounded like a really cool premise and something offbeat different than anything that I, that was on tv and uh, i was looking to do tv i enjoy watching tv but it had to be the right project and i uh, uh, jj sent me the script and I didn't know what was gonna happen from page to page. And I thought it was a really fun, interesting, unexpected take on a subject matter that has been touched upon by other, by other movies especially. What would happen if, if society ended? And in this case, it's with the lights going out. And it was a really clever uh, point of view. There was a mystery about what causes the lights to go out, the laws of physics to change. And then you go 15 years into the future watching how the next generation comes up without you know, without high-tech weapons, without uh, electricity, living in the ruins of what was the great cities of America. And I thought it was a really cool, interesting uh, angle on it that, you know, Eric's voice is, is, Eric has a very strong voice as a writer, and then J.J., of course, has a tremendous, prolific body of work that 
you know, he has a whole fan base in and of himself. So I was very happy to join that party. Thank you for watching Extra on YouTube. And for 24-7 updates on celebrity news, subscribe to our channel here, like us on Facebook here, or follow us on Twitter here. And if you <laughs> want your voice heard, leave a comment below. Where? Right there. <laughs>